It was this time last year that I decided to start my channel and document my weight loss journey. My journey has been far from perfect even though I haven't achieved any of the fitness goals I set for myself. It's safe to say that giving up isn't an option. My main goal this year is to not make excuses, stay consistent, be patient, take it a day at a time, love myself and most importantly trust the process. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Nombo Sotabete and I'm documenting my weight loss journey here on the tube. And this is my first official fitness vlog for the year 2021. I have been away for two months and I'm basically restarting or continuing my weight loss journey. So this was not meant to be my first video. What had happened was um, I had recorded the challenge and then unfortunately my card got corrupted so i had to reformat so i just decided to go back to basics and basically just do a fitness vlog of how i am getting back on track and yeah just basically restarting my routine and basically do what it is do what it is and i oh i can't even speak i can't even do this anymore because it's been so long but basically do what i did last year because that worked for me and for now i'm not going to be doing omad i'm basically going to be just be doing intermittent fasting then working my way back to omad so this is what this video is about so guys i hope that you enjoy this week's fitness vlog and i'll see you again next week i'm not too sure when because i haven't started the next challenge because that's going to be the next video but for now please do me the honor of liking commenting and subscribing to my channel and i'm posting this on my birthday so please can you just you know comment some sweet birthday messages down below your girl is 33 you know a whole 33 year old but i'll see you guys properly next week for a challenge video which was supposed to be my first video but it's whatever lunchtime right now and the time is it is quarter to two in the afternoon and usually i'll have my first meal at one but if i can push it till later and i'm not feeling too hungry then i'll do so but for now like i said i'm doing intermittent fasting and my hours are 16 8 so i will fast for 16 hours and have an eight hour eating window period and for now please don't judge my lunch guys it is yesterday's leftovers what i found is that when i pack a lunch or have something that i can eat i definitely don't cheat because we all know that takeaways are not good and that's why i've basically gained weight so there's that so um these are my snacks these are what i have between my lunch and my dinner to just time it over so yeah i'm slowly gonna get back and transition back into omad so i will probably start by um taking away the snacks and then i'll take away the lunch and then i'll go back to omad and then just increase what i eat but for now it's gonna be too much for me so i'm taking it a step at a time so let me go enjoy my lunch and i'll show you guys what i'm having This is my lunch, um, roast veggies. Um, this was a broccoli and cauliflower bake that looks very crumbly and not delicious, but trust you me, it is. Some grilled chicken wings and cream spinach and some corn. So basically what we are having for dinner is some chicken wraps basically and i'm gonna fry some chicken and some olive oil 
and then um, put tomato put onion put cheese a bit of sauce put it in the wrap and then voila So this is pretty easy to make, you're going to need some wraps, I bought some uh, brown and seed, it really doesn't matter which one you use, some cheese, some lettuce, some tomato, some red onion and our chicken is all done. All I did was just to chop it up, I'm going to use some mayo and some sweet chili sauce. taken a couple of bites and this is what the middle looks like so it all comes together and it is delicious I really and truly hate that I do not have any leftovers from yesterday remember I made the wrap but I didn't have any more wrap so I probably would have made that for lunch but I'll see what I'll make for dinner. Actually, I was planning on making some burgers, but then I was late in the morning coming to work. So now I have to suffer. And there's not much options on Uber Eats. Um, I guess the only option I can really go with right now is like Nando's. This is my lunch and Nando's is pretty generous with their portions, I tell you, because I still have some left over. As you can see, I've put in half. And I have a piece of chicken. I think they were being extra with the pulled chicken. Like honestly, you give me chicken and then chicken on top of that. Just a plain spicy rice next time is what I'll order. But now their spicy rice is usually dry. My drink of choice is water. So I figured let me do a bit of a physique update since you know New Year. Um, just to see where our starting point is, where my starting point is. You could also do the same, just document a video. I'll maybe do measuring when I'm done working out because I'm chasing sunlight, you know, it's going to be dark pretty soon and you don't have any lights. One thousand four hundred and forty-three. Not too bad for somebody who was scared of actually getting back into fitness or be getting back into working out again. Um, but yeah, no excuses, no excuses. My first workout on a Friday, when most people would be like, "Nah, I'll skip the weekend and then I'll work out on on Monday just to run the roof." Really doesn't make a difference to me. All I care about is actually starting. And I don't want any excuses this year, even though I won't work out as much as I want to, but as long as I do it like three to four times a week, I'll be happy with that. And I can only make dinner when the electricity comes back and I don't know what time that will be because it left around four, we will come back around eight. Hey guys, um, it's Saturday today, so happy Saturday. I am going to be having a very productive day today. I'm going to clean up from the video. I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna prepare some dinner and it's a bit later than I would have lost to start the day but woke up with load shedding so nothing new there so let me start my day oh, can't wait for the workout I'll be doing something very very simple I'll be doing a follow along video and I love the no repeat video so I won't be doing the same exercise over and over again it'll be something new but it is I think it's booty and legs targeted and that's a 30 minute video and I will see you guys, yeah, for when I do the workouts. Bye.
lie to myself and say that it was easy, it wasn't. But the workout itself was a pretty basic workout and it was a bit tough at times, especially with my legs. Uh, my legs are the stronger point in my body, but I still need to work up to that strength level. So I was able to complete a 30 minute workout plus like 15 minutes on the jump rope. So all in all, I did like 45 minute workout. And now I'm gonna go have my first meal of the day. I didn't eat today, basically I was just cleaning. So I'm gonna eat. Basically what I had last night for dinner, just leftovers. Um, and I basically worked out fasted. But I have something small and then I'm gonna prepare for dinner a bit later. This is my first meal for today. It's not my last meal, just my first one. And I'll show you guys my dinner. My thighs, my, oh, everything is sore, my back. I did a bit of abs yesterday. And I wanna do a bit more abs today before I head off to work, so. I'm not gonna say I don't feel like it. It's just that I've woken up and I just need to get into the swing of things. But I'm gonna be doing abs. I think by Lily Sabri, Lily Sabri. I'll do two of those. I think her workouts are usually like 10 minutes each. So just a 20 minute ab workout. By the way, I hate abs, but. I had to come and record an outro. I basically recorded an intro and an outro on the same day because I forgot to do that, but it would be rude of me to just, you know, close the video off. But um, first week done and dusted, it's um it's always nerve-wracking for me i always get a bit overwhelmed especially when it comes to weight loss i tend to overthink things and for now i'm just trying to calm myself down and basically as i said in the beginning take it a step at a time so i hope that you guys are gonna get some motivation if you you yourself have fallen off the wagon and just to you know get back on it and don't be too hard on yourselves it's okay if you too weren't able to reach your fitness goals last year, there's nothing wrong with starting over. Guys, there's nothing wrong with starting over and that is what I'm doing. So hopefully I motivate you guys to get your butt back into the gym, just eating well, just taking care of yourself. So I'll see you guys next week.